Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create server audit specifications in SQL Server. What basically SQL Server uh, audit specification means is that uh, you wanted to capture all the events happen for audit purposes uh, on particular SQL Server instance. Keep in mind, before you uh, can create SQL Server audit specification, you need to have uh, uh, audit created on SQL Server instance, which I'll show you in a second. They go um, side by side. Uh, audit is basically just a container and configuration of your audit and the target where you wanted to uh, store the audit. If you don't know how to create the audit on SQL Server, please watch my video how to create audit on SQL Server instance. We'll be using two ways to do it uh, uh, to uh, create SQL Server audit specifications. One is SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface and other is using T-SQL script. So let's go in my server. This is my server. I'm connected with the Tech Brothers client. That is server and SQL Mirror is my instance. In order for us to go and create um, SQL Server audit specifications, we need to expand the instance and go to the security. And as you can see, what I was talking about, the audit and server audit specifications. Before you can create a, a server audit specifications in simpler word, they mean uh, it means that all the, the events, so certain events that happen on uh, this particular SQL Server instance, you want to capture it for audit purposes. So basically, that's what's called audit specifications. They are, there are built-in audit specifications, which I'll show you in a second again. But you have to have audit already created. Basically, audit is just a container. It's a configuration that uh, um, s server audit specifications are the object of audit. So once you create the audit, you can go ahead and uh, create server audit specifications and tie back to your audit. So we have already created a, a audit right here, login failed. So we're going to go ahead and add the specification to this particular audit. In order to do that, we're going to go ahead and right click on specification, click on new uh, audit uh, specification. As you can see that uh, right here is the name. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and name it login failure server audit specification I, I really don't need to give this long path I just wanted to make sure that you understand that this is server audit specification so we're going to go ahead and select our audit if you click right here and said login failed keep in mind right now my audit is disabled right here and I'm going to go ahead and we have some options audit action type object which object would you like to audit and these are mostly right here are the database uh, specific database uh, scope um, uh, audit uh, they are not basically enabled for server level scope but uh, you use the same uh, basically the wizard to create that once we get into the database audit then these will appear right here that hum what object we would like to audit and what principle we would like to audit so right now we're concerned about audit action type on the SQL server instance so if we click right here on the arrow we can add multiple audit specification to a single audit so right now I'm for just this demo purposes I'm going to just create one audit specifications which is failed login group so anytime a login failed on SQL Server, what it's going to do is going to grab all the information about that login, why it failed, where it came from, and all that, and put it in our audit. And let me show you real quick the audit. My audit is configured right here as a file, and it's going to the audit file is going to be stored at C data. So you can go ahead and look at the audit file. After we create the file, we can send that file, email that file to certain uh, teams or auditors so they can take a look. I just wanted to show that uh, we have created this in previous demo. So we're going to go ahead and uh, go back to our uh, specification. So right now, you have an option to add more spe specifications. All these uh, built-in specification are really cool and they, are, they mostly cover everything that you wanted to audit on uh, a particular database. So login, failed login group is for any login failed on this particular instance is going to be um, captured and 
it will be stored in this login field so we're gonna go ahead and click OK and as you can see that the server audit specification login failure has been created and keep in mind that anytime you create audit and specification by default is disabled so you need to right click and enable uh, server audit specification and you need to right click and uh, enable your audit right now for just this demo purposes I'm not going to enable these but uh, I just wanted to show that how to create it so I'm going to go ahead and delete this and use our SQL Server script to create the same thing so let's load our SQL Server script and as you can see the create server audit specification name is right here I can change this to failed login and right here my for audit my my audit doesn't exist so we're gonna change it to login failed audit and add failed login group that's our specification with the state is equal to off if you wanted to uh, turn on your uh, uh, um, audit specifications right now enable it you can turn this you can change this off to on and it'll uh, uh, basically go ahead and enable the particular specifications but keep in mind you have to enable your audit as well in order for this whole thing to work so right now I'm not going to go ahead and enable it so I'm gonna just show you that how to create it using SQL Server um, uh, T-SQL script let's go ahead and execute this as you can see the command completed successfully and we should have server audit specification failed login created so I'm going to right click and refresh this and expand it and as you can see right here right now the state is off you can go ahead and click on enable server audit specification you can click right click on audit and enable that as well so basically this is how you create a uh, server audit specification in SQL Server using SQL Server Management Studio, Graphic User Interface, and T-SQL Script. And I hope this video helps.